A South Sudanese runner will be allowed to compete in the London Olympics despite his country having no official Olympic body. I know how he feels, I don't really have an Olympic body either. Buddy! Shut up. It's like you've got a fat face. Now, the man's name is Gore Mariel, and when he runs in his first Olympics... It's South Sudan the marathoner will be representing... Ah! Uh, ..in his heart. Ah. Uh, still, it makes sense. South Sudan doesn't have an official Olympic body, so he'll have to run under the Olympic flag instead, which could really get in his way. Still, how fast is he? Well, according to IOC spokesman Mark Adams, he's running times that could get him in the top 10 or 20. He's come from out of nowhere. Nowhere, of course, being situated just south of regular Sudan. And the South Nowhere's people aren't really known for their speed anyway. They've been an independent country for a whole year now and still don't have a National Olympic Committee. Come on, South Sudan, the Olympics is like a week away. Still, competing under the Olympic flag has happened twice before. Yugoslavians did it in 1992 and the East Timorese did it in 2000. It's a little like being the last kid picked to play soccer at lunchtime. You're unpopular, you're having problems at home, and the teacher has to put you in your own special team so you're not left out. <laughs> Good shot, Mackenzie. Take it, fatty. It's just my friends, they kid around. But while Mariel's achievement makes him the fastest Olympic runner representing South Sudan, he's still likely to struggle at the Olympics because he's the only athlete from his country and therefore the slowest runner representing South Sudan. Right now, the South Sudanese record book is just two pages long and only features Mariel's name. So all in all, it's an inspirational story. An African runner overcoming hardship to compete in the world's largest sporting event in London despite having no passport and officially no country. So in related news, this just in. An African man said to be on the run is attempting to enter London without a passport and is thought to be targeting the Olympics. No country has claimed responsibility. Well, thanks for watching The Roast. I'm off to play with my friends. Throw it, Mackenzie. <laughs> Good night. Buddy. Oh.